Honorable Justice Surya Kant, Judge, Supreme Court of India, Justice K. Balakshan Nair, former judge, High Court of Kerala and President of this foundation, Justice T. V. Ramakrishnan, my esteemed and uh, brother and sister judges, Advocate Mr. Sagasaranam, Advocate Mr. Sanat Ramakrishnan, Secretary and other office bearers of this foundation, learned judicial officers, my respected senior advocates, meritorious students and parents present here. Good morning to all. I am thankful to Sarada Krishna Sadmaya Foundation for law and justice, for organizing this commemorative program as a tribute to a great judge of this country, Justice V.R. Krishnaya, in the presence of a scholarly judge, Honorable Justice Surya Kant, Judge Supreme Court of India. As we all know, Justice Krishnaya made indelible imprints in the society as a dynamic lawyer, a towering humanitarian, a vibrant legislator, a stalwart jurist, an able administrator, and a committed social worker. Justice Krishna had the rare distinction of uh, holding the constitutional assignments of a minister of a state, Judge of High Court and thereafter Judge of the Supreme Court of India. As Mahatma Gandhi said, you must be the change you wish to see in the world. Throughout his life, Justice Krishna was a person who had tried to be such man. I would like to quote the words of Justice Krishna Haya from his reply speech made at the time of his swearing in ceremony as judge of the Kerala High Court. I quote, Speaking for myself, life becomes meaningful and finds fulfillment, whatever be the department of activity, if the larger cause of humanity is served, if the tries to destiny that our nation made long years ago is redeemed, and I had some patriotic role, some small contribution to make in that behalf, be it as an administrator, promoter of public cause, advocate or judge. We cannot forget the forefathers of philosophy of legal aid, Justice Krishnaya and Justice P. N. Bhagavadi, who in 1980s paved the way for public interest litigation movement in India by giving a wide meaning to the words locus standi, where people of India have a chance to access to justice. Justice Krishnaya played a very significant role in molding the era of judicial system to protect rights, liberty and justice to people and in particular to the poor, weaker, and the weaker sections, marginalized sections of the society. Through his judgments, he preserved the concept of social justice as an important jurisprudential thought, maintained human right in all his judgments. Justice O. Chinna Paradi, in his book, The Court and the Constitution of India, as observed thus, I quote, Great judges, of course, there were many. Of all the judges who were on the benches of the Supreme Court, Justice Krishna was undoubtedly the most creative, with a bleeding heart for the underprivileged, for the workers and the exploited, and for everyone who needed kindness and generosity. Now, coming to the topic, 
enhancement and literacy, attainment of higher education, skills and vocational education have led to rapid increase in the number of persons seeking jobs commensurate with their educational qualification and skill. Though globally, Indian economy is marching to fifth place, we cannot ignore the fact that we are facing fundamental challenges to ensure that this growth translates into creation of more and better jobs for the people. Preference towards government jobs have increased tremendously owing to job security, assured salary, and prestige as associated with it. All these factors have a significant bearing on the labor market, labor force, workforce, unemployment, nature of employment, and distribution of workers over various activities. And therefore, there should be necessary and appropriate policy response for employment generation. Rapid technological advancements are taking place day by day. No doubt, this will create more job opportunities in that sphere, even though they affect the traditional jobs. Therefore, the unemployed youth of a country have to be equipped with ICT initiatives and other technical modes. Lofty ideals and constitutional goals which Justice Krishna had all along aimed, provocated throughout his lives should be achieved and uh, in my humble view, closure of industries and factories will reduce employment opportunities. A country can progress if only labor of the nation is made integral to the development process. Production and distribution, if to be regulated by the government, there should be space and atmosphere for others for creating job opportunities. In humble view, government should give priority not only to create jobs in public services, but also to enable the youth to enjoy the fruits of the latest technology like artificial intelligence, internet of things, information and communication technology, etc. And this juncture, I'm also of the humble view that taking note of the majority of the population of the country, there should be integration of technology with agriculture. The alarming rate of unemployment clearly also points out that is also my humble view that we are in dire need of industries and factories in every state, which can be a great source of employment. Right to employment is not a fundamental right, but right to live with dignity is a constitutional right. In my humble opinion, the vision of Justice Krishnaya, equality and justice can be achieved if only there are sufficient opportunities for employment. So Justice Krishna has left us the noble values and ideals you always stood for will continue to be our guiding factor, guiding principles in the administration of justice as well as in making justice accessible to the citizens of our country. Let's all move forward on the path of reforms valued by great Honorable Justice Krishnaya. I'm extremely happy that today Honorable Justice Surya Kant, Judge Supreme Court of India, has joined us to deliver the eighth Justice V. R. Krishna Memorial Lecture on the subject, The Future of Work, Reimagining Public Services and Employment in India. Before concluding, I once again express my sincere thanks and gratitude to the office bearers of this foundation 
for giving me this opportunity thank you thank you very much thank you lordship thank you